America is a nation of consumers. Everyone is out to find the best deal and most dependable service. Few people of today know that a company that started over 100 years ago changed the way shopping was forever. Sears, Roebuck & Company started a revolution of new possibilities through their mail order system that is today what America thrives on. In the beginning, there was Richard Sears, a young man who was trained as a telegrapher and was employed by the Minneapolis and St. Louis Railroad. He had no training in mail order and worked as a railroad station agent. At the age of 22, Sears acquired a box of unwanted watches from a local jeweler. He sold them to other stationed agents who worked along the railroad for a price considerably lower than the price at most stores. Before long, Sears started to buy and sell more watches. In 1886, he moved to Minneapolis and continued to use mail order as a part-time job. In 1887, Sears moved to Chicago and started full-time mail order. In 1888, he started the R.W. Sears Watch Company. Before his first official business, the R.W. Sears Watch Company, Sears realized that he needed a watchmaker. He posted an ad in 1887 in the Chicago Daily News stating, Wanted, watchmaker with references who can furnish tools, state age, experience, and salary required. The man who answered to his ad was named Alva C. Roebuck. Later, he became Sears' partner in mail order when they began the Sears, Roebuck & Company catalog. When Sears first started mail order, he was up against a huge amount of competition, being one of the smaller businesses in his industry. One of the bigger and older mail order companies was Montgomery Ward & Company, which was major competition. To ship goods to his customers, which were mainly farmers and other rural people, Sears used the railroad. Sears' main customer target was farmers because there was free rural delivery and the farmers had little or no choice of the furniture and other goods that they bought. The farmers could only buy their things from local general stores or traveling salesmen, and most of the time the goods were expensive. Sears tried to be up to date with what people of the time wanted, such as popular clothing and the newest furniture and tools. Sears described the merchandise in great detail and included bank references and even testimonials from customers to ensure satisfaction. One man, called R.G. Shanks, sent in a testimonial about the buggy he ordered. Dear Sirs, I will say that the buggy I ordered from you gave perfect satisfaction in every way. No doubt I saved at least $15 by making the order. Yours truly, R.G. Shanks. Sears' ad, Send No Money, was soon seen in the newspapers. This type of advertising was new and unorthodox, but caused more people to buy from the catalog than ever before. No other mail order companies offered this option at the time, making Sears unique. Send No Money meant that people could order things from the Sears catalog and not have to pay until they got what they ordered. The ad was printed in heavy, black ink, making it hard to miss. Sears kept farmers in mind when he printed the ad, remembering that the farmers did not want the inconvenience of spending money on something and getting an item that they did not like. Although there were many positive reactions from the customers towards the Sears catalog, there were also many negative reactions from store owners who lost business due to the Sears catalog. They had public burnings of catalogs, and even went so far as to pay children money or movie passes if they turned in catalogs. But even so, the positive reactions drowned out the negative reactions. One of Sears' more revolutionary ideas was mail-order homes. These were homes that could be ordered directly from the Sears catalog. The pieces were shipped to the buyer with easy assembly and instructions on how to put the house together. Sears offered houses in different shapes, sizes, styles, and in a variety of materials. In 1918, Sears stated, The customer must be satisfied for a lifetime, for every house we sell is a standing advertisement for Sears, Roebuck, and Company.
People were very pleased with their mail order homes, just as Sears had hoped. I built this house. I know where every nail is. It's a good, solid house, and I'm not leaving it, said Richard Ferguson, a customer of Sears who bought his house from the Sears catalog. The Sears catalog changed lives and the way that America worked. Sears is no longer at the top, but it has not been forgotten. Even though Sears has decreased in popularity over the years, most of the well-known stores today still use its methods of retailing. It has affected our growth as a country tremendously, and America today would not be the same if Sears had never been established. Sears began an era of retailing that has led up to today's America, the great consumer nation.